What's up fam? It's Tina from Hangry by Nature and in this video we are going to show you some of the best things to do in Dotomori and Namba with kids. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more smart family travel guides and hit the notification bell to keep up to date with our latest videos. Let's get around to checking out Dotomori and Namba. Take a relaxing walk along the Tonbori boardwalk or you can even go on a cruise to check out all the surroundings along Tonbori River. I highly recommend doing the Tonbori boardwalk at sunset. It is so beautiful. The lights start turning on but it's not quite dark yet or dark enough yet so it's just an amazing atmosphere and it's really peaceful down on the boardwalk as well away from the crazy bustle up there which is kind of awesome too. Hi guys, say hi to Captain Jack the famous Don Quixote oblong ferris wheel. Now, this is not just for show, you can actually ride on this for 600 yen per adult and it's pretty much located right above the Don Quixote store. But guys, try and come at night because it's even more spectacular when it lights up. Best places to get takoyaki in Osaka is at Fukuru. Make sure to try their signature takoyaki, Pikuri. Right behind me is the Kukuru Konoman Museum, aka Takoyaki Museum. Inside, you'll be able to sample takoyaki and learn about how it is made. Walk down the main restaurant strip in Dotomori. You can't miss it. The place has a ton of over-the-top signs like the moving crab and the restaurant is called Kanidoraku and obviously as the massive crab suggests specializes in crab dishes. There's also the big takoyaki Daruma which is a restaurant that specializes in kushikatsu which is a signature dish in Osaka as well as suboraya which is a place where you can eat fugu which is the blowfish. Ooh, what's that Rami? It's a takoyaki. Takoyaki. Can you say takoyaki? Yaki or yaki? <laughs> yaki, yaki. <laughs> of course, when in Dotombri, you need to snap a picture with the famous Flicker Man. Also, be sure to visit Hozenji Temple. This is where you'll find Osaka's moss covered statue. Make sure you make a wish there as it's said that any wishes made there do come true. The reason why it's moss covered is because scores of people have made wishes there and the constant throwing of water over it has allowed moss to grow pretty much permanently on the statue now. Bashi. If you want to shop until you drop, this is the place to come. But it's not only just for adults, you can also come here with kids. They've got the Disney store, which where the kids are pretty much uh, frolicking inside right now. And there's some neat little other toy stores that you can go and check out with the kiddos as well. Plus, for shopping fanatics, there's a whole heap of international retailers here, as well as local Japanese stores plus some yummy snacks you can get along the way. This is Amerikamura. It's a hip and trendy area that some call the Harajuku of Western Japan. And like its name suggests, it takes after American culture and fashion. Sprinkled with apparel shops targeted at young people, you can find heaps of fashion brands here and also a lot of yummy snacks. 
Put this little good coffee there. Alright, it's definitely cool. inside round one stadium if you want 11 levels of entertainment this is the place to come in Osaka with kids or without kids you pick whether you want to come in for 90 minutes three hours and I'm pretty sure there's longer options than that as well but we do recommend coming for three hours because there's so much fun to be had and then you pick whatever you want to do whatever activity it's endless fun keep watching guys because we're gonna show you everything that there is to do right yeah. Oh, Andy's about to show us his drumming skills, by the way. Alright, go rock star. Check out my skills. Number Yasaka Shrine. Now, if you're in the number area, make sure you take a stroll down to the Number Yasaka Shrine. It is a very unique dragon or lion head shrine that you really won't see anywhere else. Frolic in the oasis at Number Parks. Number Park stretches over eight levels. The rooftop garden houses over 70,000 plants laid out with cliffs, ponds, waterfalls, and streams. Plus, it's a great space for kids to run amok. There's a little kids play area down there as well with some grass that you can lay on and chill out at. There's also a really cool section where it's like you're surrounded by trees. You have all these benches to sit on, but it's also a very romantic place where a lot of couples come here just to relax, watch the sunset, but I don't have a date. Rafi, can you be my date? Um, yeah. Come, come sit next to daddy. <laughs> yeah, do you like candlelight dinners? Yeah. Oh, I think we're a perfect match. Yeah. Yeah, woohoo, high five. I love my little garden at Iwi. What? Iwi. What's Iwi? The other one is. I don't know what you're talking about. The pink one is. Are you cheating on me? Yeah. Oh, Ruffy. <laughs> Ruffy, can you talk to me, please? Okay, Dad. What, don't you want to stay with me? I thought uh, we were dates. Welcome to the playground. The playground? We're having quality time together. No. Why not? I'm to the playground. Oh, broke my heart again. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at? <laughs> oh my god, he's the worst date ever. You're walking down the main restaurant strip in Dotombori. You'll probably catch this guy behind me. He is the famous Kui Daure doll and he's a mascot in Osaka. It's not much, but hey, it's a bucket list thing to do on Dotombori, so snap a photo with this dude. And those were the top things to do in Dotombori and Namba Osaka with kids. I hope this video planned your itinerary to Osaka. If you liked this video and found it helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel right now, hit the notification bell, give the video a like, it's the best way to support our channel. Until then, we're gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Ladies, bye. Uh -huh. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>